Hello and welcome back to Basit Maris. In today's episode, we have lined up for you some of the latest and most important news roundups about Barcelona in the first half. While in the later half of this video, there are some crucial transfer news and rumors that you cannot afford to miss out on. So watch this video till the very end without skipping. Now before we begin, if you are new to our channel, then please subscribe to us and hit that bell icon if you like our content. Now that's enough talk. Let's get things started without any further delay. For the first and the most important news roundup of the day, we have reports from two news outlets, La Vanguardia and Mundo Deportivo, that states that Laporta will speak with the important players of the squad, like Jordi Alba, Sergio Roberto, Sergio Busquets, or PK, to analyze the future and see if it is necessary to make painful decisions after years of postponing necessary changes in the backbone of the team. Their salaries and importance in the squad will be analyzed. The players will be asked to lower their salaries, but if they don't agree, the club will negotiate an exit. Finally, it seems that we are going to drop the dead weight we have been carrying around for so long. Though I would personally want Jordi Alba and Busquets to be a part of the squad on one condition though that their playing times are regulated and competitors are brought in. Balde from Barca B is a great option for the left back spot and so is Nico Gonzalez for the central defensive midfielder. It seems like a new era is finally set to begin at Barcelona after years and years of disappointment and failure. For today's next news roundup, we have a report from journalist Gabriel Sanz of Mundo Deportivo that says that Juan Laporta and the other club executives watched Barcelona vs Celta Vigo on television from Gothenburg. And the report says that there was enormous anger among them after Barcelona bid farewell to La Liga by bottling their lead. They were greatly disappointed with the second half display and that was exactly when they decided that they need to take desperate and immediate measures to save the future of the club. Up next, French outlet Le Sportiu reports that Juan Laporta is planning for a big revolution in the squad. When he arrived in 2003 as the president for the first time, 12 players left that summer and in the next summer, 16 more players left the club. He is planning to do something similar this time and there may be several departures from the squad. The club needs to free up some of their huge wage bill. Up next, we have a report from Spanish outlet Mundo Deportivo that the club will meet up with Griezmann in the upcoming weeks. It is considered that the Frenchman's wages are too high for the performances that he is showing. Barcelona have not yet made a final decision on his future. He surely has made a huge progress after flopping initially in the Blaugrana shirt, but this is true as well. The salary he receives is insanely high. But then again, every player in our squad is overpaid. Once again, the legacy of Jose Maria Bartomeu is being displayed. Next, we have an update on the renewal status of Lionel Messi's contract as reported by reliable journalist Jose Alvarez. Joan Laporta has reportedly promised Messi a 10-year-long contract. Lionel wants to stay at Barca. The idea is that Messi will stay at the club for two more seasons before finally moving to the United States and playing for Inter Miami and then he will return to Barcelona to take up a post in the club after his retirement. For today's next news roundup, we have a report by Mundo Deportivo that states that Barcelona's position on the European Super League might just end up compromising their relationship with UEFA. President Laporta's encounter with UEFA boss Alexander Sheferin in Gothenburg during the Women's Champions League final was very cold. They watched the game between Barca and Chelsea together from the stands. The tension has not been reduced at all since there hasn't taken place a genuine conversation between the two. They are expected to arrange a meeting soon to talk over the Super League. For today's next news roundup, Spanish publication Sport claims that Luis Neto Murara will play his last game for Barcelona in this weekend against Ibar. The Brazilian has had to live in the shadow of German goalkeeper Ter Stegen for his entire spell at the club, except for the brief period when the German was injured at the start of the 2020-2021 campaign. But now that Ter Stegen is out injured, Neto will be able to play his final farewell game. For next season, Barcelona will bet on La Masia and that is once again very good news. 
Next, we have some rumors regarding the continuity of Ronald Koeman as the manager of Barcelona next season. As journalist Dani Senabre reports that the person who has to decide the future of the Barcelona bench is Joan Laporta himself and he has decided that the coach will be Xavi Hernandez. If you think that's all, then hold up, as in our next news roundup, we have brought for you a report by journalist Helena Condis that states that Ronald Koeman will definitely not continue next season as the Barcelona manager. Laporta wants Xavi to be the new coach. However, within the club, they do not see Xavi as an immediate solution. They believe that they have better alternatives than him at the moment. However, this does not mean that Xavi is not an option at all. He is, but just not for now as things currently stand. Now, Xavi is not the only possible replacement for Ronald Koeman. As in our next news roundup, we have a report by reliable journalist Gerard Romero that states that Hansi Flick is one of Barcelona's options as well. Barca recently contacted his environment to inquire about his availability. The manager has not yet reached an agreement with the German national team to manage them in the next season and he may be seen at the Barca dugout upon Koeman's dismissal if that actually happens at the end of this season. For today's next news roundup, we have a report by Spanish publication Sport that says that Miguel Puig, better known as Mike, will be the new director of La Masia starting from today. I told you in yesterday's episode that former directors Xavi Martin and Mario Ruiz were removed from the post by the present management and today it is confirmed that Juan Laporta has appointed his trusted man Miguel to supervise the club's youth academy and the young talents. Up next, I might have some good news for you as this one is once again reported by Sport that with Pedri and Dost again unavailable for the last game, Koeman has the opportunity to reward some Barcelona B players like Nico Gonzalez, Alex Collado and Conrad by including them in the squad list against Ibar, which is of no stakes. Koeman, however, will have to make the final decision. Next up, we have some good news for the fans as Goldman Sachs, the American investment company, will refinance Barcelona's debt for up to 500 million euros. Interest rates will be lowered compared to elsewhere as the investment fund will also be in the Espai Barca project. The club is very happy because this will allow the debt to be controlled. Barcelona had managed to switch approximately 250 million euros of long-term debt for a few weeks ago. The other 470 million euros in the short term will be paid this summer thanks to Goldman Sachs. Barca have shifted all of the long-term debts. Barca will therefore have more time, that is more years, to pay their debts and to breathe economically. The return of the public and the turnover before Covid will allow the club to turn around on top of the expected drop in the payroll. Barca do not plan to spend without thinking this summer. The sales of the players will allow a big investment. The objective is to go green in the summer of 2022 and then strengthen each summer normally without spending lavishly. Now that is a hell of a good plan. For today's next news roundup, Kadina Sir reports that Barcelona do not contemplate the promotion of Garcia Pimienta as the manager of the first team right now. They are looking for options outside the club if indeed Ronald Koeman gets the sack. For today's next news roundup, ESPN reports that the legendary manager Rafael Marquez is set to return to Barcelona as the coach of the club's under-19 team next season. Very good news for the Barcelona fans who are interested in youth development. Moving on to transfer roundups, for the first and the biggest transfer news of the day, we have a report by ESPN England that states that Manchester City are reportedly willing to offer Lionel Messi £500,000 per week in salary on a one-year deal with the option to extend for one more season. If Messi left Barcelona and took this deal, he would be the highest paid player in the history of the English Premier League. Up next, we have yet another update related to Messi as top-tier journalist Alfredo Martinez has claimed that Paris Saint-Germain are the biggest threat in the world right now to swoop Messi away from Barcelona. For the next transfer roundup of the day, we have once again a massive update and this one is about the signing of Memphis Depay. Ever-reliable journalist Fabrizio Romano and Mate Moreto 
claim that Barcelona are now directly negotiating with Memphis Depay. It will not be a long-term contract, only two or three years. Depay has left the law agency he consults usually and he is going to decide his future with new lawyers. Talks are progressing with Aguero as well. However, decisions will be coming only after the Champions League final. In France, they can already see Depe dressed in the Blaugrania colors. Spanish news outlet TV3 has also reported that Barcelona have decided that Memphis Depe will come next season, regardless of who the next coach will be. On Monday, the Dutchman commented on his Instagram account, saying that it is time for him to take control of his career and he has come to a point where he needs to make important choices about his future. He has decided to negotiate his future deals together with his team of trusted confidence backed by legal experts. He will decide about his future destination himself. The first to know will of course be the people and his fans. For the next transfer roundup, we have a report by Spanish journalist Adria Olwitz. It says that Emerson will be Barca's first signing. He already has a house in Barcelona. The player's environment ensures that he will be a part of the preseason with the club and that Barca is counting on him. Looks like he will not be sold after all. The right back will provide competition to Sergio Dest, which means that Roberto could either be pushed up to the midfield or simply offloaded in this summer. Betis say that Barcelona have until the end of this month to announce that they are buying Emerson officially. The club have told Emerson that he can play with Brazil in the Copa America as well as in the Olympics. For today's next transfer roundup, we have journalist Frances Aguilar's report that says that Ramon Plains, the technical secretary of Barcelona, has been following Alexander Isaac for a long time, ever since he played on loan for Willem II when Borussia Dortmund had already signed him. He has always liked the player. It, however, remains for the club to agree on the signing of Isaac in the upcoming summer. For today's next transfer roundup, journalist Ferran Corias reports that there may be many departures from the club in this upcoming summer. Not only does the club plan to get rid of players that have had very little prominence in this season, such as the likes of Coutinho, Firpo, Neto, Pjanic, Umtiti and Braithwaite, but also the futures of senior players such as PK, Roberto, Alba, Busquets and Atua Griezmann are uncertain at the moment as well. The club may either choose to offload these players or reduce their wages. Up next, we have reports from journalists Moises Lawrence and Samuel Marsden that states that although Barcelona will work on reducing the wage bill and selling players, Juan Laporta is still continuing to explore ways of achieving a star signing this summer to improve the club's chances of more silverware next season. The first name on the list is Erling Haaland. For today's next transfer roundup, according to a report by Mundo Deportivo, the Barcelona management is in a spot of dilemma. The Wijnaldum option divides the sports management. He was a request from Komen, but now the option is being questioned. The board knows that his contract with Liverpool ends, but he is 30 already and his arrival will depend on Komen's future. Moreover, if he comes, then Elijah Moriva would have less chances to play. Now that's all for today's episode. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to turn on the notifications. We post interesting content like this every single day and I assure you, you will absolutely love it. Now on our last episode, we asked for a total of 250 likes and you guys absolutely smashed that thumbs up button. We got a tremendous response from all our subscribers and our viewers and we're extremely grateful for it. So in this video, the target remains the same. Please Qlers, get us to 250 likes on this video as well. Your support means the world to us and we are nothing without it. Our subscribers mean everything to us. So now we have decided to give away official Barcelona merchandise to two of our dedicated subscribers once we reach 5000 subs on YouTube. So make sure you share this video with your like-minded Blaugrania friends and ask them to subscribe to our channel as well. Also, check out our Instagram page at the rate Barca Admirers. We post amazing content related to Barca over there. Do tap on the follow button and you won't regret it. The link is given in the description of this video. 
Alright then, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Vishkal Barsa, Vishkal Catalunya.